Okay, so I wanted to discuss about what happened with the pickpocket because I know other people are going to get shafted like this. Um, Spain is full of them, and I'll be honest with you, if one of them Spanish, I'd be surprised. Um, it does seem to be like Romanian gangs, and everybody seems to be aware that they go on, and you just have to be extremely vigilant. Um, stitch some fish hooks in your pocket, maybe you'll catch one. <laughs> um, but basically I was in the market area, I was actually looking for stuff that could be exported back to the UK. So I wasn't really concentrating as much as I should be. And what they did was something that is a little bit unusual, but what concerned me more is the police didn't even ask how my wallet was stolen. Because I knew how it was done. What you had is some I'm trying not to be uh, uh, negative, would it be? Okay, let's just call them a Romanian. <laughs> Romanian woman, overweight, pushing a push chair. And what she does is she rams the back of your leg, but she's aiming for your left or right hand side. Um, she, What she's trying to do is distract you. Because what happens is the, she's, trying to push it against your leg so that you'll turn around. Now, what is actually happening, the horrible little Romanian brat that's in the push chair is trying to get into your pockets on the opposite side. So as you turn around to your left, your if your wallet was sticking out, they don't have to grab hold of it because it's your force of turning around that will actually pull the wallet out of your pocket. Um, it took them about six attempts because I was getting really peeved off with the this idiot pushing me behind from the from behind because um, it was you know it's a bit annoying afterwards because you realize what they were doing at the time you just think they're stupid um, but it's just some low-life thief but yeah because um, all my pockets are batting batten down they actually had to undo the button to get to my wallet in the first place so it's really really annoying that even with tying them down they still did it so you really need to make sure stuff's secure but i would uh, advise if you're going in the market areas do not take your wallet at all in fact take the money in your hand and just hold it don't take anything else don't take a camera don't take anything because these scumbags operate in gangs um and it's my personal view is i would quite happily see them hung um because they're just parasites they, they're just animals um, but that's my personal view um, I know a lot of people are like oh they're misunderstood a thief's a thief anyway uh, what can I say positively that was in Terry, Terry Vale market I, it's hard to say because my Spanish wasn't good and I didn't hear anybody say it in Spanish but it's uh, I'll stick it down here so you can actually see what it is uh, I think it's Torre Vega or something like that, but I only heard it once. It's like when um, somebody said Benidorm to some Spanish people. They had no idea what Benidorm was, <laughs> which is quite funny since it's one of the biggest uh, Spanish resorts for British tourists. And people are like, what? You know, <laughs> no idea. I wasn't there. It was just that my friends were there. And that's why um, we were struggling to get stuff sorted with the police. Um, but the other side of that being, out of four police stations, um, when I was traffic, they wouldn't do anything. They weren't even interested in listening, like waving you off. They they have not interested in helping. Um, the next one was a traffic one. I'd gone in there, um, asking them for help. Where's the nearest police station? That sort of stuff. Can I file a police report? And they got a big carrier bag. Um, this is in um, the town. And they just put it on a table and said, is your wallet in there? Because there was at least 20 wallets and purses that had been handed into that police station. It's not the only police station in the town. And they were stolen on market day that day. That's how bad the pickpocketing is. Um, I don't know why Spanish don't do enough about it. They should really be beating these guys. Uh, it's, it's not good. Um, what I was going to say about that. The third one was closed completely. 
it it's the one where I think my wallet is, and I won't know um, until they process the wallet to say whose is in there. Because what they do is they open the wallet, take the money out, and they throw away the wallet. Because obviously you've got cash in your pocket, it can't be traced as stolen. But your wallet, that's got your ID in it. You catch somebody with a load of wallets, you've got somebody that you can arrest. But so what they do is they just take the money and throw the wallet. That's why there's so many wallets in the in the bags. Uh, yeah, the third one was open Monday to Friday, 8.30 a.m. till 2.30 p.m. And that's the main one on the beach um, in Torre Vella. And that's the one where I think my wallet was. I couldn't find the police in the area that night, um, which is another sign that maybe the recession has done a lot of damage uh, when you can't find a policeman. I'm sure if I was breaking the law, they would be there in an instant. The, the fourth one which is the one that actually did manage to process my police report, was the one at the airport. Um, if you go to Toyobeka Airport, where the arrivals are, because this is a bit confusing, because there's four different people that are in there, different, they're all government associated. You've got guys from VAT, you know, your customs guys. You've got firearms. You've got guys that deal with um, the local police. And there's another one, which is the national police. and. They're all next to each other, but you have to knock the door and find out who's there and they send you over there and then you go to the next one, they send you over here. But the one you want is where it says no entry <laughs> for the arrivals. Um, there's a, the, the, the door where everybody comes through. On the left hand side, there, that is the police station. Um, in there, what they do, and this is the bit that really annoy me, um, because I could have solved a lot of problems with the other police because I only needed to file a report. The fact is, there's a, there's a, um, a translation line with the National Police. Uh, it's open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Because when I file the report there, they're just like, hang on, dial the number, give you the phone, and then you talk to somebody at the National Headquarters who turns around and takes your report over the phone. They then give you a crime number, you then give it to the policeman on the other side of the table. They tap it into their computer. They print it off. Say, sign here, sign here, sign here. Because they do everything in the triplicate. And that's it processed. Now, you may be wondering, why would I bother filing that report? The answer is, my wallet may be in that police station. But also, one of the police guys I was talking to that understood some English said, it's very likely my wallet will turn up. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next day, maybe Monday. The fact is they expect your wallets to turn up. So getting that report done with my name, my address, my passport details, they now have a point of contact to send, my, uh, send me my uh, wallet back because the wallet for me is quite personal because it's um, a wallet my wife bought me, but also it's got some family pictures and stuff. Um, it's more important than anything else in the wallet. I'm not, you know, the 50 quid in it that went missing? don't care you know okay it's a downer I've had 50 quid stall in my pocket I'd be gutted for an afternoon but the the wallet it's got a lot of value you know to me sentimentally so a bit annoyed but at the same time I always look at the other side of it whatever you're shot stabbed or something else being robbed it's um, look on the bright side um, the worst bit was because my money and everything was stolen I ended up having to walk back to the villa, then walk into the town, then back. Doesn't sound bad, but it's six and a half kilometers each way in the Spanish town. Ended up doing about 25 kilometers because of the different police stations and going here and there. Um, I was pretty burned out that day, as you can see. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Um, and that's pickpockets. Don't get caught.